What's up? It's your girl Socks with an X. We got Cocky in the building. What up? What up? What up? Cocky. Cocky Kong. Where that come from? What? The name. I don't know. It just happened. Somebody just called you that one yeah. day? Yeah. And it just stuck? Yeah. For real. How long ago was that? Like eight, nine years ago. Something like eight years ago. So it's a little, it's been. It's been a minute. Okay, that's what's up. Okay. So everybody knows you for being a host, promoter, rapper, mm -hmm. artist, per se. Like, when did you start feeling like you were going to get into this entertainment world? I was like 20. I think I was like 22. 22. Somewhere up in there. I don't know. I just like to hang out. I always <laughs> like to hang out. So I'm trying. Might as well make some money. Right. You know, I'm going to be out anyway. Yeah, you know, might as well make it add up. So right. that's how I started. So you started, what did you start first? Promoting or hosting? Promoting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, promoting. I started promoting. Okay. And then you went to? The hosting thing, like, that's, it's like all in the same, for mm -hmm. real. It's just, it depends on how popular you is, like, stuff like that. So, it's all in the same. Right. Now you're an artist as well. When that yeah. start? That's really, like, all in the same. Just right. entertainment in general? Yeah, like, I, I started rapping probably, like, Two years, two three years ago, something like that. I don't know, probably like two years ago. I don't know, somewhere from there. Nobody influenced you. Was like, bro, you should get in. You know what I'm saying? Influence. Yeah, like I'm a dog. Be, yeah, yeah. Like I be freestyling, playing. So. so you was in the booth with them one day. And you was like, all right. Nah, we just be in cars. Mm -hmm. Like we'll just slide somewhere. You know, you'll just be vibing. We just start rapping. So like I'm a dog. Even my dog who with me right now, he like he'll tell you to that. I do that a lot. I just start rapping out of nowhere. <laughs> I think all guys do that. Yeah, but no, nah, like, be for real, though. <laughs> like, we be having real sessions, though, bro. <laughs> yeah, for real. So it's like, like why not? So Make some money off of that, too, then. Might as well, right? Okay, I understand, I understand. Okay, so you have this thing, Group 9, called the City Boys. Mm -hmm. Tell me how that got started. Playing around in the studio. <laughs> Sound like a lot of playing going yeah, around. A whole lot of playing. <laughs> Like we was on, um, like we just linked up on some, like, on some unity, like, mm -hmm. and then it just came from there. We was in the studio just playing around, and then it went viral, and then we was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so tell me who who are the members in City Boys? Is, is you? Um, me, J. Ron, mm -hmm. Thump, Two Shot, um, Two Shot, okay. uh, Spook, mm -hmm. um, Womack, and Roger. And Roger, so it's yeah. six of you guys. Yeah. Okay. And then what made you guys think about the city boys? Cause y'all are opposite of city girls. Yeah, it was like it was like on some like they doing their thing. They they talking, they you know they talking to us. So mm -hmm. we finna we finna fly back. So that's really what it, it was a joke though. It wasn't right. like we was trying to make it serious. It was just, so when you got the reaction from everybody, that's when you guys were just like, oh yeah, crazy. Like, well, I mean, there are a lot of members that. Between you and J-Ron, yeah. right there, yeah. then you got Womack, yeah. Spook already, yeah. and then you said Roger. Everybody, everybody. You know what I'm saying? Everybody yeah. already has yeah, their like, thing. Yeah. So you, that was just y'all just playing around, and then it just happened. It just happened. How many songs do you guys got right now? We got a few, man. We got like six songs, something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, about six songs. Y'all want to um, verse from City Girls? I'm saying, I'm saying, it's how you know that'll be love. Right, right. right that'd yeah. be something different. Yeah, that'll be love. That'd be different. Yeah. Okay, so going back to your promoting and hosting and everything like that, what do you have going on right now as far as like what do you promote or what you host? You have Beachum, right? Um, yeah, mm -hmm. Beachum. That's a situation where I host and promote. So that's like that's like the crib um, lit on Saturdays with Melo. Right. Um, you know, between that two and then the music, that's really it. I'm just trying to take it a step at a time. Mm -hmm. So you have a lot of stuff going on. You have pretty much, you have, it's called Cocky Global. Cocky World Global. Cocky World Global. Okay, yeah. explain the umbrella then, because it's like, you have your detailing company as well. Yeah. Like, explain, explain that umbrella. It's, it's like name for name. Mm-hmm. 
So you know you got the cocky world global that's like, you know that's one thing. Mm -hmm. Then you got the global family that's more personal. And then what's the know, difference? It's it's the same thing, but it's more it's more like family, like okay. you know. But the cocky world global could be in Nebraska, you know. Mm. You know, so when you see like the global family, like that's that's home. That's, that's home. Okay. Know? Okay. But, yeah, that's really like the breakdown. That's it. And you know the promotion, the cocky time promotion. Right. That's for the clubs. So okay. I like you know. That's why when people like see me out there, like call me cocky time, it'd be funny, but it irritates me. Like, really? Yes. Why? I don't know. It'd be funny, but like that's for promo. So it's like it's just funny to hear people say that. So that you just want them to call you cocky. Yeah, but yeah, I don't be tripping. They don't know nothing bother me. I'm good. But right, but I mean, it just be funny though. Like it's more funny than anything. Okay, so with all your umbrellas, like, do you see them, where do you see them in, like, a couple of years, five years from now, per se? I can't really say, because, like, to do it to you, boy. <laughs> Draw everything. Sorry. <laughs> everything. <laughs> that come first, ain't it? Uh, that be me. Tell me. So it's like, what? This is like a real studio? Mm-hmm. There's two studios in there. We're building a, like a a big engineering studio with all like the keys and everything okay. like that with the whole uh, booth, the window and all oh, that stuff. For real. Yeah, that's next door. We're doing that right now. And then in the back is um like we have a stage back there. Yeah. And we we have different photo shoots back there. It's a big T V. We do like um uh, premieres and hosting for like music videos and stuff like that. And then we're also um and then we also do music videos because you have Angie, she's a director of photography, but then um the visuals director. Oh, that's lit. So we do music videos. That's why we just just all one big thing. That's and lit. Obviously, we doing interviews. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Lot going on. Lot going on. Keep it like that. Yeah. Yeah, for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Learning a lot. Yeah. Too, so. Mhm. Mm oh, and then we have our model, our models too. So. That's what's up. <laughs> we were just peeing. We had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> we, we were just talking while, you know, in the room. It's cool. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, it is what it is. Okay. <clears throat> so, pretty much, you have a lot going on. I like what you got going on. So, where do you see yourself in five in five years from all of this? I'm just going with the flow, but, you know, taking them steps. So, I'm just going with the flow. Everything be happening organically, so right. like, I don't, you can't really like. I don't like to put a number or a tag on that, but I just go hard and whatever I do. So like, whatever it land me, that's just what it's gonna be. Right. Like, five years, ten years, like whatever. I'm, I'm gonna be winning though. Right. All that, of course. But I just I can't tell you. Cause I might just limit myself. Mm. So I can't really tell you. Can't put no cap on I'm it. I'm trying to go big. So right. That's all I just try. I'm trying to go big. That's right. It. So with. The Orlando scene now, because I know like a couple of years ago, maybe like three, three, four years ago, it there was no unity. There was not a lot of music really being put out like that. Now you turn every corner, there's an artist, an artist, an artist, a rapper, a singer, whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. And now you have a bunch of eyes looking at Orlando and the unity that we have going on too. How do you feel that that's going to like... That's going to draw us more to the market or do you think it's going to make us more like like Atlanta or or we're, we're just going to put our own stamp on? It got to be your own. Like, right. we, we, ain't trying, we ain't trying to be like Atlanta or nobody else. Mm -hmm. like, everybody got their own way of doing it. Right. But as soon as you realize that unity is better and unity is going to be the way, then it'll start climbing. But right. as long as we neglect that and fight against it, it's going to be hard. It's like we fight against ourselves. Mm -hmm. We don't even like, you know what I'm saying? So... We just gotta, everybody gotta like do their part and 
make it happen if that's really what you want to do. Right, if that's really what you want to do. Yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. So do you um do you collab with anybody else besides the City Boys? I know that you do have a couple of songs. I know you had No Cat with um Moot Boy and yeah. Kevin Costner. I seen you had a, you have a couple with Kevin Costner. Yeah. How like how did you guys get a relationship? That my guy. Um, yeah. Yeah, my boy. We just met like through um like mutual friends. Mm -hmm. And then we just like just instantly vibe in the studio. And then we just started like, man, that man come up with a song. Like, instantly. Like, because it be coming from like a place that you don't visit a lot. Like, mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when you get like in them kind of songs, it's like soulful <laughs> music. When you go in them places, it's like you can't vibe with everybody because mm -hmm. everybody ain't been through what you've been through. Right. So Y'all souls don't match. Really it don't match. Right. You know what right. I mean? But once you find somebody that kind of semi know, because they done semi been there. It make it, it make it emotional. Like right. So less time. words, more of a feeling. Yeah. Understand. It. Understand. So yeah. that's what's up. So I know, like I said, you have that relationship. Anybody else, like, um, that you have a, a real close, like, personal relationship. Right. That you can, that you collab with too. I. It's like it's like it's it's unlimited, especially in the city. I be saying all day telling you the rappers <laughs> that I got love. Like it's it's love with everybody. You know, it's, I'm with I work with everybody. That's what's and up. Deep with, you know, that's one of my favorite rappers. Mm. So, like, anytime we connect on something, it's always special. So, I mean, I work with anybody. I ain't really got no not do not disturb list and all that. I'm, it's whatever. So, you said that your favorite rapper was B-Boy. Locally, yeah. Locally. Yeah. So, how how is that you more so, like, looking up to him and then now y'all, like, kind of just right there eye to eye? It wasn't a thing of like looking up to. It was just who could I relate to the most. Right. Okay. Yeah. So it's like you know, with him, like I could listen to your music and kind of know you before I meet you. Mm. So when we meet each other, it's kind of like boom. Right. And then like it make it way easier when you kind of know of me, but you don't really. But it's like the same thing. Right. So when we started doing the music, it was like, all right, bro, I'm gonna do this, do this. All right, I'm gonna shoot it to you, boom. Tomorrow, this time you got it. Right. It's just like that. So. That's what's up. Yeah. So, what about performing? Have you performed? I know for your birthday you did um a performance that was great. By the way, I was Appreciate there. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. It was. That was that was that Appreciate was real. It. <laughs> like for, it was it was real. Yeah, like yeah. doing it live with the yeah. band, that was something different. Yeah. Like not nobody really doing yeah, that. Yeah, for sure. Um. So besides that, what other venues or times have you performed just as? Cocky. I done performed a couple times. Um, I got a show. Smoke Chilla, I got to perform. Smoke Chilla. That's coming up for us. Yeah, shout out to MK and Brett and, and the whole Dead, squad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Dead. But um, I got a show in Polk County on Easter. Uh, I done done, show, I done done like a lot of shows. I really can do it whenever I, whenever I want to, but mm -hmm. I'm just preparing for what's finna happen, right. so, you know what I'm saying? So after that, I could just be loose, but, cool. you, know. you mentioned Polk County. I know yeah. that you just did a song with YBG4. Yeah, that's my dog. How was that? Organic. Yeah, real cool dude. Yeah, that's my dog. Yeah. Like, yeah, man. Like, and I'm a fan of his music, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So that's that's like I, I listened to him before I knew him. I kind of got a vibe or got a picture. He painted a picture. I like picture painting. Music. Right. So... If I can kind of like get to know you through your music, like I'm already gonna be a fan, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Versus like, I don't want, like, it's not relatable. Like, yeah, the song, it was, it sounded like y'all were coming from a different place. Just right. like the sound, the tone of y'all right, voice, right, both right. of you, because I'm a fan of both y'all work, of course. Right. And so, like, when I was hearing the song, even the music video, just driving, that's yeah, just like, yeah, when, you yeah, know, like when you're yeah. driving, you zone out, yeah. and you think about something differently yeah. that you're then what you would be thinking if you're in the club or yeah, you're just yeah. talking to somebody. Like, you tend to talk to yourself or talk to whoever you feel like you need to. So, like, yeah. I felt like it was a different connection there, too. I really liked it. I thought it was it was a different element to both of you guys. Yeah, that boy, that he, he the truth. That's my dog. That's what's up. That's yeah. what's up. So, do you guys do City Boys have any um, other... Performances coming up? Yeah, I know. I know it's like a few people trying to book us right now. So mm. it's really just everything. It's, just, it's, a, it's a learning process for that, you know. How's that being in the group? It's, <laughs> it's funny, man. Them, yeah. Man, them some of the funniest dudes <laughs> in the world, bro. They're going to keep you laughing all day. Okay? I bet. But it's like, you got to just, you know, you really got to be humble 
and you got to know that you're dealing with six different personalities, mm-hmm. six different struggles, mm-hmm. six different stories. So your opinion ain't always be the best or the most valued, and you got to be okay with that. Right. And if you're not okay with that, don't be in a group. Oh, this is right. Because yeah. it's always, in your case, it's always like either five against one. Yeah, so. Or it's like three against two. Like there's, I mean, you then don't again. Know. You don't know. So you, you got to just really be fair. It, being in the group is all about being fair. Mm-hmm. And your opinion, it might not be the way sometimes. But you got to trust the the opinion. The right. overall, you got to. So if you can't do that, then. But if you can, that's why I am so special. Because if we first fight, whatever we do. It's a wall that you ain't gonna never see behind. Mm. You feel me? Right. Because when by the time they go down, the curtains open, we ready to perform. Yeah. Right. But other than Leave that, all of that stuff in the bed. You ain't got. You yeah. don't know nothing. That's how. It's, that's how it's supposed to be. That's how it's supposed to be. Correct. It's like you know, family. What goes on in the house, stay yeah. in the house. Yeah. You know, yeah, when we still. go outside, we good. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. That's what's up. That's what's yeah. up. Okay. So I know that you said that you mentioned that you're doing lit with Melo. Yeah. I know that y'all was doing stuff before. Yeah, like, yeah. how is it like linking with your brother again? Like, it's love more than anything. Yeah, that yeah, was my the L O V E way. Mm-hmm. That's my that's my number dog. That's my yeah. number one dog. Yeah. Yeah, I remember yeah. when y'all was doing stuff when I was a, when I was. Man, we didn't I was a gym boy, yeah, man. I know y'all used to do like the most, yeah, man. Yeah. I really yeah. and truly, y'all really set the tone yeah, for yeah. that whole. Promoting, yeah, hosting, yeah, everything, yeah. owning your own spot yeah. type thing. So yeah. like, do it your way. It, right, exactly. That means can't nobody tell you what to do. Man, yes. that's, that's the only message that we that I've ever. I know he feel the same way, but I've ever tried to get to an up and coming promoter is do it your way. Mm-hmm. You ain't got no rules in this, man. It ain't you make the rules, right? But just abide by them when you set them. You know, so anybody could do it, but anybody can't. Mm-hmm. At the same time. Yeah, at the same time. At the same as that time, mm-hmm. those go against each other. Right. And it's crazy. If you can figure that out, then you're good. You're good. If you can't figure that out, then it ain't for you. That's it. That's what's up. So I like, I just like your whole transition from like everything that you have going on, how you said um, everything's one and the same entertainment. You go from promoting to hosting. Right. To being an artist, right. to understanding that you as an artist are still hosting, right, 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 entertaining right. the crowd, and promoting right. yourself at the, at same, the same time. Same so time. it's like all in one. That's yeah. good that you understand that it's like they're separate, but they're they all in the same. All in the same. Yeah. That's what's up. Okay. Yeah. So anything else that you got coming up or that we need to be paying attention to? We got a lot of events mm-hmm. coming up. And it's a lot of stuff going on, but mainly, you know, the Fridays at Beach and the Saturdays at Lit. Right. But we got a lot of community events coming right, up. Right, right. That's right. You are in the community a lot. Yeah. I yeah. like that you um you pay attention to what what needs to be paid attention yeah. to the kids. Yeah. Joining everybody together. I know you yeah. guys have um you do you guys do a lot of stuff at Eagles Nest. Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah. That's what it really was. Right. That's where it counted. We already done did all the plan. We gonna do. Mm-hmm. Right. That's what's up. Yeah. Show, show everybody that you can come together. Yeah, for sure. Without any drama, without no mess, drama. and just have fun. Just, just laugh. You right. Know, you gotta learn to breathe and laugh, bro. Everybody's so angry. Mm, for what? For what? Not too short. What are we doing? <laughs> what? That's it's, what's up. It's coming. Okay. So, what events for community do you have coming up? Um, one of four five to be and myself. We just collabed on it and it's called the Energy in the Community Day. Okay. But what's that about? It's um basically just bringing everybody together. You know, you do the free food mm-hmm. and all the activities for the kids, whatever. But we're trying to do it like in different communities, mm. and not just mine, cause we ain't the only one that need it. But the more the better, so you know. Just Your name gets out there. People know that. Okay, when it's y'all too, it's like yeah, yeah, they know yeah. what's they know what's it's going for on. It's real. Yeah. So we doing that, man. Then I got an annual backpack giveaway that I always do mm-hmm. in August last year. It was. It was. It was lit. Yeah. Yeah. So this year, like, I got to start getting ready now. Mm-hmm. It's like you know. I understand. I understand. It's a yeah. that backpack giveaway. is a humbling experience, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. What? Mm-hmm. Man, yeah. the things that we just didn't see growing mm-hmm. up, our parents kind of hid that. But boy, it's out there. You yeah. see it. It's you for see real. It. Yeah. It's it. I think it's. I think it's even more scary because it's like 
you know like yeah. the world like what's going on because you're an you adult know. now yeah, yeah, but now you're yeah. seeing like kids and yeah. they're understanding a lot more than what you even understood when you yeah. were young so it's, it's kind of like wow bro i go through a lot of stuff and i'll be like like i'll be upset that i can't mm-hmm. block this from my child at a certain point mm. you feel me like i'll right. be like like damn like one mm-hmm. day i'm gonna have to leave this bitch mm-hmm. they're gonna be by mm-hmm. themselves like i go through that now as a child because i know like bro, i'm 30. I ain't grow up so I was 28. Mm-hmm. And that's when I lost my pops. Like, if he would have still been here, I would have still Spoiled. been here. Spoiled. Right. Spoiled. But mm-hmm. the day he died. Oh, yeah. Man. Them folks still send stuff in the mail to him. I'm like, man, y'all don't understand. They don't care about all that. <laughs> Mm-mm. They so, just. So they now just... you got them little ones looking at you the same way you was looking at him. And they like, well, they don't care what you got going on. I'm hungry. What's up, man? Trust me, I, I definitely it's for real, yeah, man. Yeah. It, it hits it hits you right like yeah. okay, this is what I'm going for. This is why I'm doing what That's I'm doing. That's the motivation though. Of course. Man, you of can't course. stop. Like I love just spoiling my baby. Right. Yeah. When you can't get that one thing knowing they got everything in the world, it's like okay, I, I need to Right. Yeah. So that's what's up. I'm glad that you're doing that to people who can't do that for their kids. Right, so right. It, it gives them that more personal to you so they connect on any level with you. They understand, right. like, okay. He deserved what he got going right, on. Right, right, right. That. right. I like that. Okay. That's what's up. Yeah. Okay. Anything else you got? That's it. That's what's up. Clock, okay. Yeah. Well, go ahead and let people know where we can find you out, where we can find your music, where we can find you any other day besides um, Friday and Saturday. All outlets, King Cocky for music. Uh, Instagram, the Cocky Kind, T H A C O C K Y K I N D. Everything else, King Cocky. All right, it's your girl Socks with the X and Cocky. I'll be TV. We out.